Hey, Pierre, uh, you guys seem to just loosen up a little bit, second period, third period. Can you say where that came from? Was it just more intensity or what, what allowed you guys to just kind of get back to the flow offensively? Um, I don't know. I, I think it's just it's a matter of time. Um, you know, you're in the flow of the game, uh, you know, get get guys rolling. Um, I think, uh, you know, not we didn't say much after the first. We just um, started playing. We all knew we weren't playing our best hockey, so just want to get back to it. Did you get a wake-up call from, from uh, Tortorella there at the end of the – Second, I think you just played one shift in the final seven minutes. Can you say what that was about? Uh, no, um, no, didn't say anything. Um, I, I, yeah, it's just stuff that happens. Play guys are playing well. How good did it feel for you to get off the schneid there with that the breakaway goal? Great pass by Greg Aranko to to put it up three one. Yeah, it felt good. Um, you know, it feels like the past two games, uh, <laughs> everything, everything, every opportunity we get, nothing's going in. Um, so to finally get one felt good. Thanks. Any more questions for, for Okay, we go to uh, Mark Scheid. Go ahead, Mark. Thank you. Hey, Pierre, and I asked the same question of Oliver, but just you, know, you played the two games against Nashville. It's going to be like that all year playing two games, just especially the way this game ended. Just how important will that be, you know, to be able to create your own energy moving forward? Yeah, it's going to be like that all year. We saw in the, in the playoffs in the bubble. Um, uh, I mean, our job is to play hockey. It's fun to play hockey. We should be able to have energy and, and not need that, that, you know, the outside motivation. Um, you know, every, every game is going to be like that. Um, like I said, we're going to play uh, two times against uh, the same team a lot. So uh, game, you know, and the end of the game is going to be important and, you know, the start of the second game too. Okay. Next we go to Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, PL, uh, the start of this game and the end of this game couldn't have been more different. Uh, I mean, you guys were kind of like outskated in the first, but then you're just flying at the end there and then the fights and all that stuff. How much did you guys need maybe that third period to just go the way that it did and, and get those goals and get this, just get on the board with some points? Yeah, it's it's good for the confidence. Um, you know, it's, it's important. Like you said, the end of the game, the fights and, and you know the intensity level went up uh, quite a bit. Um, you know, I think it, it feels good. It gets everybody involved in the game. Um, you know, we had guys that played really good games tonight. Uh, Corpy, you know, gave us a chance to win the whole the whole night. Uh, and you know, we're back at it tomorrow when we get the same team. So, um, you know, it's gonna be the same thing tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, there was a lot. A lot to kind of break down and digest there, and that that scrap there at the end. Did you see uh, Zach Wierenski and Dylan Larkin going at it? Yeah, yeah, um, it's pretty funny. I know they're really good friends. I know, um, you know, me and my good friends when we played against them in junior, we'd always say, one day we know we're gonna fight. It never happened. Um, so I wonder what's going through his his head because I've always wondered that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was good for Z Gorky too. I think it's his first fight, so um, it went pretty well. Happy for him. This is the last one for me, but, uh, you know, this season you kind of alluded to it earlier with playing the same team over and over again, you know, back-to-back -back days and that kind of thing. It's kind of like an ode to the old days a little bit. I mean, you know, tensions are just going to naturally get higher. I mean, did this maybe set the stage for anything Tuesday, do you think, or no? Maybe. Um, you know, everybody's fighting for, for points. Um, it's a short season, so uh, every game matters even more than, than in 82, um, you know, especially when we play the, the same team. I mean, maybe you get a cross check or a slash from a guy and, you know, you don't forget about him. And usually you wait two months before you play him. Now you play him the next day. So uh, I don't know exactly what's going through through their heads, but, um, you know, it, it's it's definitely um, something that could happen throughout the, the season. Okay. Next, we go to Aaron Portsline. Go ahead, Aaron. Hey, Pierre, your uh, trade request is one of the big stories in the in the league right now. How has it affected you at all? Do you is it is it weighing on your mind? Do you feel like it's affected your play, or have you been able to be just the same old Pierre Luc Dubois? Um, I have one job, and it's to, to play hockey and, and help help the team. Um, you know, it, it uh, I just have to go out there and, and help the guys and you know, try to get a few points every night. Like I said, it's it's a short season, so every game matters even more. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just have one job, and it's to, to help this team win. Have, have you been able to do that though, or is it is it weighing on you? Uh, like I said, um, I have a job, and I I the only thing I can control is how I play, and I, I can't control anything else. And um, 
yeah, I just, I just have to go out there and, and play hockey.